Good evening, my stamping friends. It's Leslie with Loving Can Paper. I'm a minute or so early, so we can just say hi. Type in the comments if you're watching this live or even if you're watching on the replay. Let me know where you're watching from. Kind of curious because I'm in New England. So if you're somewhere farther away than that, I'd love to know. Um, anyway, so let's take care of a little businessy stuff, okay? So remember that you have about 10 days, I think it's nine days, um, left to get our kits, the kits collection, um, at up to 30% off, so some are a little bit more, some are a little, or none are less than 30% off, okay? Uh, I mean, none are more than 30% off, so they're, um, depending on how many they have in stock or whatever, they set the percentage, but it could be as much as 30% off, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Boy, did I get around that pretty rough. All right, so it's seven o'clock and I am bringing to you so when I saw this um, mini catalog when it arrived in my mailbox I saw all these cute little houses and I was just like I have to have that so normally I just thumb through the catalog nope for this one I went looking for these little houses and what I found was the Humble Home Bundle. And that was one of the very first things um, that went on my pre-order list. Okay. Um, I just, I love punches. They're so easy and quick. Um, and I love that. Um, there are, there's just so many fun things that you can do with them. And so I saw those little houses on the cover and I said, I got to have it. Um, I also think that punch bundles um, tend to be a really, at a really good price point. They're usually um, $40 or less, um, depending on the stamp set and stuff. So I think that's a really good deal. Um, anyway, so that's what we're going to play with tonight. And before we go too far, I want to show you. So... Um, some of you may follow Brenda Quintana, uh, QB, I think, um, is her website. And she had the um, directions on how to make this cute little treat holder um, on her, in her email. You had to be on her email list to get, to get that. And um, so I thought that was really fun and a great way to use that particular bundle okay so that was fun um Rhonda Wade did this cute card um which I thought was fun kind of looks like the old Polaroid pictures you know with the wide bottom uh, so that was a fun one um to do let's see what else do we have oh um I did something with uh some demonstrators called card play they do like a, a retreat an online thing and this was one of their cards so i thought that was really fun just a basic z it's actually um scored just a little bit different um and i may i ended up with an extra tiny little piece of the designer series paper and i may end up putting that over there like that. I haven't quite decided um, if I'm going to do that or not. Anyway, really cute. Um, and just colored the house, just stamped it on white and colored it with some of my Stampin' Blends. Um, so let's look at, so the, the bundle is this stamp set. Okay, lots of great greetings, um, Christmassy and non-Christmassy. Okay, a fun heart. Um, and the punch, okay. Oh, and I just realized that I have probably a dark spot here. 
There we go. Now my whole space is lit up. All right, so let's um, let's do this one first. This is there. These are mostly just assemble, but the really super fun fold that I want to share with you, we will do last. Um, then you will have that um, information fairly fresh in your brain, um, and I will get the measurements into the description and stuff um, for you. All right, so this is an eight by five and a half, okay, scored at um, one, two, and five, okay, and then we get this. Let me grab my bone folder and give this a really good score, okay. And we're using, I think this is called the Snowplay or something like that, designer series paper. I like these snowflakes. All right, so this, and these snow globes, there's a couple of different sizes in that designer series paper, and they're really easy to cut out. So even if you only bought the designer series paper, you could make some really, really cute cards. All right. There we go, there's that one, and then this one will go down on the front, down here. There. Okay, so this is this part of the base, but there's more to the base. And you have probably seen where you can do like those uh, center step cards and stuff and you end up having to score and cut and it's so much easier to do a faux center step where you just add an extra piece of cardstock like this and then everybody thinks it's one of those clever cards and really I mean it is clever but it's not hard and you don't have to do a lot of that card math so let's grab this and I'm going to go ahead and put that there and this. So this piece is eight and a half by three and three quarters. And what we're gonna do is take this piece and line it up. Whoa, don't stick down. Okay, that looks about right. Okay, and then we're going to close everything up and then put this over to the back. And because these are the same color, nobody's going to notice that. Okay, so now we've got some pieces. So this piece is going to go on the back for writing on. All right, so here's our white to write on for the back. Because otherwise you don't have another spot to put that. So you kind of have to go to the back. And then we'll dress up the front. So I have a little piece of Poppy Parade that is three and a half by four. Okay. And then we have a Oh, I know what that's for. And we have a little piece of pool party that's three and a quarter by three and three quarters. So that's going to fit on like that to give that that little bit of bounce. Okay, a little pop. All right, so let's get these. Okay. Here we go. 
All right, so then you need a piece of basic white that's three and a quarter by one and a half, but you're gonna tear some of that. So you're just gonna make it look like snow. Okay, so you're just gonna pull, and you can, you know, dip your snow a little bit if you want, or whatever, okay? So you're just gonna have that ruffled edge and that's just gonna go right like that. But before we glue that on, just because I always tell you, you lose the magic second side if you don't stamp first. Now, we all need those thank you notes in the winter. So winter themed thank you notes for after the holidays, right? Because we all get things from family and friends and need to thank them. So we'll use the Poppy Parade, which is what I used for my house. And we'll use the Thank You, which comes in the set. And over here on this edge, we'll just, let me just see if I can get a little bit. There we go. There. Okay. So let's close this up or we'll have red everywhere and my husband will think I hurt myself. <laughs> there was one time I came home from working at the studio and I had gotten some red ink or something on me. And he goes, are you all right? And I said, what do you mean? And he grabs my hand and I go, oh, it's just ink. And uh, poor guy. Anyway. <laughs> um, so we're going to put our snowman way up front here because he's otherwise he's going to look a little out of place with that house so the house has to be set back a little ways okay and then we have this little tree and that's even farther back okay so in order to make everything perspective wise we kind of have to do it that way all right so let's make sure that when we put this on we're not putting adhesive way, way up to the top because we want to be able to tuck our house in a little bit. Okay. So we're going to just get some adhesive on our house here. And we're going to very carefully just put our house over there and then we're going to put some adhesive over here. I'm trying to leave the, the doorknob showing. Oh, maybe I can do it this way. There we go, that's better. Now, it's okay if the hand, if the arms hang out a little bit because they're not gonna be off the edge once we get here, okay? You just always wanna be careful. Um, I was just double checking to make sure that I got this where I wanted it. You have to do you do have to be a little bit careful to make sure you're not going higher than four and a quarter with this piece okay so you've got your five and a half and you just want to make sure you're within that four and a quarter so it'll fit in a standard size envelope which I had some around here all right There we go. So our tree kind of in the backyard. Maybe I want to, hold on just a second. Let me see if I can. Oh, there, that's a little better. That way, it's a little bit anchored, like it's in the ground behind the tree. I mean, behind the house. Okay. All right, so that's that. And these were both cut out of that same designer series paper. Okay, so I didn't add any extra stamps. I did stamp the house 
um, and I did punch or cut out a window and a door, right? All right, so that looks like we're ready to put this on and be done with this one. Okay. There. So then it will sit up, okay? You can write your little thank you message on the back and it will stand up. Um, it would make a really cute uh, Christmas card. Um, you know, there's lots of things you could do with this. All right, so we'll tuck that away. Here comes the fun fold part. Now I've already put this piece together. This piece is, oh, I should have made a second one. It is... So each of these scores is at three quarters of an inch. So one, two, three, four scores at three quarters of an inch and it leaves you a little, little bit that is tucked in there as your flap, all right? Um, so this is gonna make the, the mechanism for the card. So here's our base. So this is a, a very standard um, Z-fold. Okay, but we're gonna dress it up. So we've got our eight and a half by five and a half. Okay, scored at four and a quarter and two and an eighth. All right, so then we have um, designer series paper, five and a quarter by four, and a one and seven eighths by five and a quarter for the front don't usually like those little funny eighths, but it really does look best on this particular one. All right. So, just put this on the front. Like that. And then we'll put this on the inside and then we can add this. So when you make your little box, and I'll, I'll give you the dimensions of that piece. Um, the, the little box, all the folds go in the same direction. Don't stick there yet. So your little box always folds in the same direction. to make this little box. And I use tear and tape um, to, to stick this little flap in. Okay, so I just lined it up with that score line. And now I've got tear and tape on three sides and I'm gonna show you what it's all gonna be used for. Okay, I like to find the place where my um, seam is and make sure that's in here, okay? So I'm gonna take these pieces of tear and tape off. I'm gonna nudge this seam right up next to that, that score line, okay? I don't want it exactly touching, but pretty close, okay? So that's gonna go in there. All right, and now you can kind of see where the next thing is gonna go. So this piece has to attach. So we'll just peel this tear and tape, okay, and close the card. And we can grab my bone folder and just give it a really good burnish there, okay? Because your, your card is going to go flat and it's all gonna fit in a regular size envelope, okay? All right, so then we have a couple of pieces of pool party. We have a bigger piece, which is three and a quarter by four and a half, and that's actually gonna go in here, okay? And we have a white to go on top of that that is three by four and a quarter, okay? And then I cut out, I don't want that. I cut out one of the smaller snow globes and just put him there. All right, so 
I'm going to put this on here. Okay. And because I want to make sure that where I'm writing my message and everything is hidden by the outside, I'm going to tuck my snow globe in here. So I'm just going to put a little bit of And then I'll just put this right over here so that when, okay. So I think you're going to start to see how this is going to go together. And then this one is going to go here, okay? And you'll see what's going to happen. It's going to be awesome. All right, but. What we have to do is take this tear and tape off and put this in here. Like that. Okay. So now if I show you from the top, see where the box is in here. Okay. And then this is attached to that. So you get that double pop kind of thing. So if you've ever made sort of a, a basic pop-up card using a little, a little box like that, a little cube, this is more or less the same thing. All right, so let's put our thank you. Again, I think we'll use that poppy parade. And... Stamp it right on the base of the snow globe because I sort of intentionally just went wintry and not um, not specifically Christmas. Okay. So now this actually, you know what? We're gonna put dimensionals on this. I heard somebody use the word dimensionalize. And I'm not really sure. I don't know. It could be a crafting word. <laughs> I'm just not sure. Anyway, I thought it was kind of fun. So I'm going to go kind of heavy with the dimensionals. Because this paper is lightweight, and I really want to make sure it's supported and doesn't end up getting squashed in the mail. So we're going to make sure that that happens. Okay. There we go. So that's going to go on the front here. You could even add some Wink of Stella. Whoops so that it makes it look like snow globe. Give it a little shimmer. There. Can you see that? Are you picking up any of that shimmer? Anyway, so now we have to be a little bit careful because we want to make sure that we only add adhesive to part of this, otherwise this fabulous card is going to get glued shut. So, we're just, one way I like to do this is way at the edge on this piece, like that, and then kind of the middle of this edge, and then I can do one more there. That should do it. Okay. There we go. Okay, then we can open this up and give it a good rub there. And now the card looks like that when it's open. So do you see how that all worked? Isn't that cool? I knew 
that I had to share that with you. Sometimes I participate in, um, like I said, other dem demonstrators' events, and it's just fun to get the packets and to pretty much be able to just assemble, stamp and assemble, or cut out and assemble, or whatever. And this was one of them, and um, I, I also um, did one more, and I'll have some more things to share um, soon. Um, but anyway, um, I just, it's really fun for me to do that. And then when I learn something really cool and new, I want to share it. And this was, this was probably my favorite card of the whole weekend. I just, I really liked this one a lot. Um, and it really didn't even have a whole lot to do with the humble home. Except that there's that little house back there. Um, so anyway, I just thought that was cute. So those are what I have to share with you tonight. So we had this one. We had this one that actually used the stamp set. And then this one. Okay, that again used the little house. And I just shared those two so we made those two so I will definitely get you the um, the cutting um, sizes the, the measurements for the for the cardstock um, and you can give it a try and if you do I'd love to have you um, actually I'm gonna take a still of these um, I would love to have you share in the comments um, under the video what yours looked like because um, you can use any designer series paper okay for this you don't have to use the snow globes you could use something else entirely um, so anyway yeah I hope that you enjoyed that well <laughs> um, I am so glad to have had you guys here and I will um, get these dimensions and stuff tucked in the description um, as soon as I get home and can manage that. All right, thanks so much for joining me. I will see you again soon. Actually, tomorrow I'm going to go live to do the alternates for the paper pumpkin um, after school. So I'll see you then. Bye-bye.